All right, here we're going to look at solving a homogeneous differential equation by doing a change of variable. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that we do have a homogeneous differential equation. So we've got dy over dx equals y squared minus x squared over y times x. Uh, for it to be homogeneous, every single term in the numerator and the denominator, uh, all the terms have to have the same degree. So notice in the numerator, our first term has degree 2, uh, the second term has a degree 2. In the denominator, it's y to the first times x to the first, so we would add the exponents. So this uh, term in the bottom also has a degree of 2. So since everything has the same, all the terms have the same degree, this is going to be a homogeneous differential equation. The way that we solve this is we're going to take our equation so y squared minus x squared over y times x. We're going to multiply this by 1 over x to some power. And the power that we uh, use is whatever the degree is. So we're going to uh, multiply by 1 over x squared in the numerator. Well, also, we would have to do it in the denominator. Okay. So in the numerator, we can simplify. This would be y squared over x squared. And then we would have minus x squared over x squared, which would just be 1. In the denominator, we would have y times x over x squared. And that's just going to leave us with y over x. All right, so what we've done is we've just changed the appearance a little bit. So it says dy over dx. I'm going to rewrite this one more time as y over x quantity squared minus 1 over uh, y divided by x. All right, so that's kind of step one, just basically uh, dividing by some power of x. Now what we're going to do here, this is where we're going to do our little, uh, our change of variables. We're going to do a little substitution. We're going to let v equal y over x. So we're going to replace all the y over x's with v's. Okay, so if we do that, well, it says dy over dx. If we replace all of those stuff with v's, we would have v squared minus 1 over v. Okay, well, what good does that do us? Well, let's see. Notice also, too, um, so again, I've just taken my original differential equation and just done a substitution. That's all we've done here. Notice also, too, we can uh, manipulate our little uh, substitution as well. We can multiply by x. So if we multiply by x, we would get uh, v times x equals y. And I'm going to write that as, well, y equals uh, x times v. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides of this. So on the left side, uh, we'll just have, well, dy dx. Recall implicit differentiation. We'll have to use the product rule as well. If I take the derivative of x, 1x with respect to x, we'll just get 1. We'll leave the v alone. Plus, then we'll leave the x alone. The derivative of 1v would be 1 times dv over dx. Okay, so now notice we've got two equations. We've got an equation involving dy dx, and now we've also got another equation involving dy dx. So what we're going to do with these two equations is just set them equal to each other. So we've got v plus x times dv over dx. That's going to equal v squared minus 1 over v. Okay, so this is now kind of the important part because now what we're going to arrive at, it turns out this is going to be a separable, this is a separable differential equation now that we're going to have to uh, integrate. So that's kind of phase one, okay? Just sort of uh, dividing by the highest power, or dividing by x to the degree, uh, doing your little change of variable, um, substituting it in. And, you know, we're always going to do the substitution, v equals y over x, so you'll always do this process in every example, you know. Uh, you know, you can multiply by x and then take the derivative, etc., and get this. Okay, so you'll always have v plus x dv uh, dx equals whatever whatever the function gives you after you simplify it. Okay, so that's 
kind of step one. Uh, now I'm just going to solve this separable differential equation. So we've got v plus x times dv over dx. We can break this up. We can make this v squared over v, which would just give us v, minus 1 over v. So just uh, simplifying our fraction here a little bit. Well, we can subtract v from both sides, and that'll leave us with x dv over dx. Well, the v's will cancel, so that'll leave us with negative 1 over v. Okay, well, a couple things here. Um, we want the dx to be in the numerator. So I'm going to multiply by dx. Well, we want to, uh, again, separate things. So we want the v's on the same side and the x's on the same side. So I'm going to multiply uh, by negative v. So we'll have negative v dv. And then I'm also going to divide by x. That'll leave us with 1 over x dx. And hey, now we've got our nice little, uh, uh, set. everything's nice and separated. And now we can just integrate both sides. So we can integrate negative v dv. Um, that's going to equal the integral of 1 over x dx. Well, on the left side, we'll have negative v squared over 2 equals the natural logarithm of x. We're going to stick on our plus c there. And now, again, you know, we want the uh, solution to involve um, x and y, not v's. So we'll do a couple things here. I'm going to multiply um, by a negative 2. So we'll have v squared equals negative 2 times the natural logarithm of x plus c. And again, now I'm just going to replace because v was equal to y over x, where you at there. So v was equal to y over x. So we'll have y over x squared equals negative 2 times the natural logarithm of x plus c. Well, this is going to be y squared over x squared. Uh, if we can multiply both sides by x squared. So we'll get y squared equals negative 2x squared times the natural logarithm of x plus c. And I think at this point, I would just leave it alone. I wouldn't square root it and have positive and negative solutions. Um, so in this case, this is going to be the solution to our uh, original differential equation.